Okay, we're going to try to do some subtraction now. And this is a method called counting up subtraction, which I think is new for most of you. I don't think you've done this before. So please listen carefully and go slow and watch more than once if you need to. But I'm going to show you how to do this new method of subtraction. Now again, the first thing we're going to do is make a ballpark estimate. And you can use the nearest hundreds for this one because we have three digit numbers and you should know how to do this by now so think about that and do that and if you use hundreds your estimate should look like that now to do the counting up method we are again going to be counting up and you're going to need some space to do this properly so you may want to use this piece of scrap paper which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to write uh, this subtraction problem on a piece of scrap paper. Now with counting up subtraction, you're going to start with the lower number or the smaller number and you're going to count up until you get to the larger number. So for this one I'll start with 274 and count up to get to 468. So here I have 274. And I now want to get to the next 10 by counting up. And the next 10 is 280. So how much do I add to get to 280 from here? The answer is plus 6. So I'm going to add 6. Now, next I want to go to the next 100. So I know that 280 plus 20 will take me to the next 100, which is 300. Now we're going to keep going till we get to 468. So I can add another 100 to get to 400. And I can add 68 more to get to 468. You can see why we need extra paper. Now I'm going to circle all of the numbers that I added and I'm going to put those numbers together. And you can think about how you want to do that. I think I will put um, 20 and 100 I know is 120. I'll put those together. 6 and 68 is going to give me 74. And then if I put 74 and 120 together, the answer is 194. So I can check that and you can see that it's close to my estimate. So that must be right. I know this is a little bit complicated, so let's try to do another one together. Number two, again, first of all, you're going to do your estimate. This would be 500 minus 300 for your estimate, which would give you 200. And now, again, I'm going to use some scrap paper to do this because I need space. So I rewrote this on my scrap paper, and again, I'm going to start with the lower number. I'll add 1 to get to 330. Next, you need to figure out how to get to 400, which would be plus 70. Then we're going to go 100 more to get to 500. And then we will go, how about just the 30? And one more to get to 531. Now, circle all the numbers you added. And then you're going to write them out. And figure out how you want to add them together. And then add them up. And get your final answer. It's a challenge, but just try your best with this tonight. And see how you can do. 
And you know what? Just because this is so challenging, let's do one more here. This is number three from your home link. Um, again, first ballpark estimate. You should be able to finish that one on your own. And then go ahead and get some scrap paper to write the problem. Here it is. And again, start with your smaller number. And we're just going to add numbers till we can get to this number here. First, let's add 1 to get to the next 10. Now we're going to go to 300 next. And I know I need to add 90 to get to 300. And let's go to 30 next, which will give me 330. And one more will give me our target. Now I'm going to circle the numbers that I added and write those out separately. This one's actually not so bad. I'm going to put 90 and 30 together, which will give me 120. And 1 and 1 will give me 2. And then 120 and 2 will give us the answer, the final answer. which I can write over here. Now, try number four, five, and six by yourself. See how it goes, just try your best. If you're frustrated and you still can't figure it out, that's okay, just uh, we'll come to school the next day and we'll see if we can figure it out then. But just try your hardest and uh, watch the video. And one other request, if you're using scrap paper to do all of this, Please bring your scrap paper with you and turn it in with your home link. That way I can see how you're thinking. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Made with DoodleCast Pro.